Hey everyone, this is Eric with VPAstream.com and in today's lesson we're going to learn about we're going to look at how to extract a left value from oh, the first name out of a string it's actually the left so on my worksheet I have a name of Joe Maxwell and I want to take up the first name and then I'm going to take up the last name so here I have my, I want to take up the first three characters. So I'm using a left function. The left cuts the string, the left part of the string, and just delivers me my result. It's going to be the left part of the string. So my string is in cell A2. So here I go to the code window. Again, I can press F uh, alternate, ALT. In F11, I can open up my code window. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I can go ahead and type in public function. Public function. And then I have, or sorry, public sub get first name. And then I'm closing it with the uh, quotation, the quotation marks. Really, the quotation marks. The reason I'm buying that uh, they're to fill the arguments. If you want to have an arguments, if you don't have arguments, arguments don't put anything in there. So if I wanted to pass a value to something else, I go ahead and get first name and put it with, within the quotation marks. So our parentheses. So it's kind of a uh, little holder. Uh, if you don't use it, you you don't you just don't put anything there. But you have to put the parentheses anyway. So here I'm at dim str first name as string. <clears throat> then my str first name. Right now I'm the I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna start out with. Uh, we'll start out with the whole uh, whatever's inside that cell right now. I think it's cell A2, range A2. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. It's range A and 2 is Joe Maxwell. Okay, then I can press F8 to kind of verify that that's true. So range A2. You can also do, if you looked at the, the previous video of of VBA cells, you'll see that I can reference this as cells or like cells row and column, so it's like 2 1, but that's kind of a obscure, it's easier to remember in A2. So my first name is going to be, it's going to be the whole name first, Joe Maxwell. So I, I, I could really name this as S your name, and, but uh, why, why do two var variables? I just cut this on the bins. It's your first name. First name equals left. I want to take the left part of the string. It's your first name. And I just want the first. Really, his name is Joe. So I could take the left three. So I have left. My string, these are the arguments I need. Left string, and that's what the tell IntelliSense brings. If you don't see IntelliSense, you probably have the, the function wrong. So left string length is one. So uh, my length is three. So I'm going ahead, uh, that's going to be my, my value. Again, I'm printing F8. I can see this in real time as I go through, so I can edit it. And so it's just gonna be Joe. That's great. Now I want to write this value of Joe into the first name cell. So that's range B2. Okay, see B2 and this name on B2. I'm clicked on it. It's by active cell B2. So that's all good. So range range. B2 equals S to your first name. Okay. 
this your first day of going ahead and notice how I was way down here I can move this mark around anywhere it's like repeat I can just click and hold my left mouse button down drag the thing down and it's gonna repeat it's gonna do the line that that I'm gonna land on so this yellow is kind of like a marker it's a break point really you break the code right there so I'm stopping the code so here I'm gonna say okay I want the I want range 2 to be my result whatever I use that function for the result of the function which is uh, the left function so I'm parsing it now now range of b2 is going to be equal to Joe so here I have Joe and then I can use the right function to get Maxwell so thanks for watching and uh, just kind of a review here they probably I don't know if you got it right but so I'm reading the value from the cell the whole value of parsing out just I'm using the left function to parse it just the first name and then I'm writing that value back to the cell that I want it to be just the first name back to the cell again thanks for watching and talk to you soon